Fans, welcome to another week of IPW Hardcore Television. Obviously, my broadcast partner, Ron Nini, is out there taking care of business, so I'm going solo on this, this one. Ron obviously feels shafted by the fans, doesn't feel they're responding the way they should to the Shane brothers, so he's taking on a new agenda, and right now he's got Mike Shane and Steve Madison tagging against Axis and Python, who are vicious and delicious. Now, Ron, obviously in this situation, he would be well advised just to squeeze your rage up into a bitter little ball and release it at the appropriate time, like that day Agent Steele hit that referee with a whiskey bottle. But that's neither here nor there. You don't want to mess with giants like Python and Axis, but maybe it's a little bit easier when you've got Mike Shane and Steve Madison backing you up. We're going to look like we've got Mike, Mike Shane against, against Axis here to start this match off. Steve Madison maybe trying to give him a little strategy against this guy. I'm not sure how well Madison is against dealing with huge men. We see Madison hold his own, the guy's like, he's actually getting the tag to go into the ring against, it looks like now Python, Ron Nini, by a ringside, behind his man, a hug now by Mike Shane, trying to give him a little reassurance, Steve thinks he's got to take care of. Obviously, look at the physique of Python, this is just the size difference. Madison, though, definitely jacked up, but not quite the size and power of a guy like Python. It's different when you're in there with a huge monster like that. Steve Madison, what's he, does he want to box this guy? Not a very wise to sit, oh no. Steve, brother, what are you doing? You don't push a big guy like Python to start it off. You don't get that monster upset. What's he telling him? Oh no, Madison, not very good. Coming in for a shoulder block, Python barely even moves. Madison now talking a little trash to Python. Python says, sure, right ahead. Drop down there by Steve Madison. Oh, and a huge shoulder block there by Python to start this match off. Madison's confidence has got to be shattered. This is definitely demoralizing for him. Python getting the crowd behind him. The crowd, uh, definitely crowd favorites are vicious and delicious fans. We'll be back at the Palladium on June 28th. Don't miss it and bring the kids because when I see the smiles on their little faces, I just know they're going to jab me with something. We're also going to be there June 21st, the Florida Russell Punch. We've got a huge card for international aggression. We've got Osama Nishimura from New Japan, from IWGP Tag Team Champion against Lex Levitt. Also a host of other matches like Steve Madison against World Japan star Kenzo Suzuki. Mike Shane now taking over very early on against Python, using some tricky tactics. Well, we usually don't see Mike Shane do, but they've got that new attitude. But the Vicious can Delicious can definitely bring the trickery as they take out Mike Shane and go to work on the literal guy, Steve Madison, the modern-day miracle. Madison now wants no part. Axis and Python going to work on Steve Madison and Mike Shane watch, watches idly by at ringside. Now whipping him in, double boot to the midsection. Oh, a double press left. This does not look good for the modern-day miracle. And, oh, would you look at the height on that, on that gorilla press slam. Mike Shane hit this partner out of the ring. They got to get something going. Ron Nimi's got to tell him the deal and see if they can try to get a new strategy against these huge monsters. Tonight, later on, fans, we're going to have our main event. It's Cedric Strong and Roderick Strong in the Battle of the, of the Blood Brothers. The Battle of Roger Strong, Ego, his, he's the master of the backbreaker against Cedric Strong, a fan favorite here in IPW, should be a great matchup. Mike Shane, uh-oh, Axis and Python going after him. They find, oh, look at Rod Nemi scooting in the ring. They get on top of Axis and Python with the trick where you haven't seen that from me before, but obviously they have the new attitude, so they're going to their trick book. Double reversal there by Vicious and Delicious, and a double flying elbow. They've got these guys on the run, and... Steve Madison and Mike Shane still have to think up something to take these guys out, try to get some control, maybe neutralize one guy and cut off the ring. 
Steve Madison tries it in and just gets leveled with a double lariat from Vicious and Delicious. Vicious and Delicious being very smart, keeping Steve Madison inside of the ring, trying to keep Mike Shane out of the picture. Madison now with, oh, and a stiff boot, as Ronnie Lee likes to say. Oh, that's got to hurt. Madison now feeling the effects of that boot across the face. This is delicious and taking control of this match very early on and are just taking it to Steve Madison, trying to dismantle him. Axis, to, oh, and you see, there you go. Mike Shane helping his partner out there by pulling Axis down by his head and Steve Madison able to take control from behind on the big man. Look at those headbutts, baby. Mike Shane coming in, trying to go to work on Axis, trying to get, trying to get some control of this match trying to neutralize Axis from his partner Python, maybe keep him in there long enough to where he can't make that tag. Whipping him across to the corner, comes in. Nice jumping lariat slash flash there by Mike Shane. And a double underhook, just tossing a big man like that is quite the feat. Not getting him up all the way, but definitely hurling him across the ring. Madison now tagged in. Boots to the stomach for Madison. Snapmare, and Madison is gonna neutralize the big man by keeping him on the ground. Obviously those, those those ground stylings have been taught to him while he's been in the world Japan. It's going to help him out very much when he's in there with a superstar like Kenzo Suzuki, a former professional rugby player that was recruited specifically by the New Japan Dojo. Madison has got to stay on top of this guy. He can't give him any room. Axis will take advantage of it. Madison very smart to back him up while holding on to him. Mike Shane coming in to bring the club in. June 29th fans, Mike Shane, Todd Shane going back to World Japan to try and take those IPW Hardcore Tag Team titles back from the Royal Road Warriors after they lost them March 1st in front of over 3,000 fans, or excuse me, 13,000 fans. Mike Shane still in control of Axis now. Axis starting to be worn down. It's going to take a long time to get this guy worn down to the point where he might not be able to make a tag. He's very resilient, very powerful. You see the power right there, but Madison able to straight. What is that, a spork of some kind, some kind of spike or what? Steve Madison, being very, I got to give him credit for that. Punches right to the head of Axis, going to work on this guy. Might not be a smart idea to try to trade strikes, but there he goes again, trying to neutralize him. Axis coming closer to the corner, might be able to make the tag. Mike Shane serving as a distraction. Python gets the tag and gets in the ring, but referee Chuck does not see it. Steve Madison still in there, and there's the old Killer B switcheroo. Doesn't work so well with Steve Madison, but it works just fine to get the job done. Todd, or excuse me, Mike Shane now taking control of Axis in the middle of the ring. Up next, fans, we've got the AOD's Agent Steel against David Babylon, the Rat Magnet. This is definitely David Babylon's test to see if he can continue to go at the pace he's been going against the heavyweights of IPW. He's been hanging in there for quite a while. Agent Steele definitely wants to take him out of, out of action for sure, as he's been a pest to the AOD for a long time now. Mike Shane still in control of Axis in the middle of the ring, now starting to wear the big man down, starting to see some of the fatigue come out of Axis. Might not have some of the cardio that these guys have. Has to get some kind of offense against these guys, trying to use his power to get over to the corner and tag into his, to his partner, Python. A low blow there by Steve Madison, using everything he can very smartly to try to stay on top of the big man. Now, now goading Python, Python, you gotta get out of the ring. The ref is not gonna, oh, and there's the spike again to the top of the skull of Axis to keep this big man down. Axis may be busted open from that. Steve Madison just going right to work on this guy. Keeping him on their side of the ring, cut the ring off. Working in, putting that knee in the middle of the back and wrenching back on the chin for Torque. Definitely got this guy. Madison knows how to apply those holds from his experience in World Japan and his experience in IPW. Now using the ropes for leverage, he's a very resourceful fellow. Mike Shane coming in, Ron Nini barking out directions to his tag team. What's he gonna, they should try to put him away here while he's down instead of trying to go to work on him, but with a big man like that, you never know how, just how worn down he is with the power that he holds. Mike Shane coming in for a big splash, hits it, goes to whip him across, maybe going for another big splash here. Axis is able to move out of the way. Oh my, a German suplex right on the neck of Mike Shane. The power that he has to get him over like that is just astonishing. 
Ron Levy trying to get his guy going, trying to get to the corner for Steve Madison, who's excited, wants to get in there and stop this tag from happening. Python wants to get in there. Steve Madison gets the tag. Axis gets the tag. Here comes Python. Huge close line that turns Steve Madison inside out. Scoop slam now by Python. Put him right down to the mat. Bringing him up now. He's not done with this guy. He wants to put him away and injure him for sure. Huge butterfly suplex just tosses Steve Madison across the ring. Now he's got him up. Axis starting to recover in the corner there. Mike Shane totally out of the picture. Huge power slam by Python. Chuck makes the count. Two. Oh, and Mike Shane able to break that pinfall up. But Axis going right to him with those punches. Not going to let, let him affect the outcome of the match. Maybe trying to keep him out of this match. And Steve Madison has rolled outside of the ring to prevent a pinfall on himself after being worn down. There's the TKO, but Chuck is hit from it. Axis hit Chuck on the way down. Python makes the save on the pin that wasn't even happening. Ron Eby slapping the crap out of Chuck. This has broken down, fans. Michinoku driver coming up from Python. There it is. He levels Mike Shane, but he's not the legal man. That's not going to count, Python. Steve Madison on the apron trying to, trying to get some chicanery going here. What's it? Mike Shane's not even the legal man. He's got to get him out of there. Chuck's got to wake up for this. Uh-oh. He's got that chain. Oh, and he decks Python with it. Right across the side of the face. Chuck comes over, doesn't see it. One, two, three. 911 Incorporated steals a win from Vicious and Delicious. Fans, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> 